Hey dog collectors, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a Sherry's haul for everyone. Um, I know I'm not even gonna adjust the fact that I've been gone for a minute, obviously. I do it all the time and you know, obviously the most biggest elephant in the room, I got my teeth done. Um, I just got them done. They're really, really white, but the lady kind of told me like, oh, you know, they'll stain a little bit over time because I am an avid coffee drinker. If they're blinding you, I'm sorry. Last weekend was Sherry's doll show and I got goodies for y'all. I want to show y'all my haul. I'm actually really excited about this one. It's a pretty good haul. Um, I got some really good things. I literally got one of my dream items here and like... Yeah, I'm just excited to show y'all. Filming this at like 7 a.m. The sun is barely coming out right now. Um, but like it is hot in California and I really hate filming during the summer. So I'm trying to do this like early in the morning with the AC blasting in my room. So if you hear that, you hear that. Um, but yeah, I'm just saying it's fucking hot. I'm actually starting to sweat a little bit and it's 7 in the morning. So I am really excited to show y'all what I got at Sherry's this weekend. This time around, the doll show was actually really fun. To everyone I said hi to, hi. To everyone I missed, hi but here is the haul now you guys already know how i always set this up i always start off with the smallest little tiny things and then we move on to the bigger ticket items and i think the one i want to end on the last is probably like my favorite thing i got uh i'll get there when i get there but yeah so let's get right into everything i got now just like every sherry's haul you know i can't not get fashions and fashion packs i love to play with my dolls and i love to put clothes on them so i pretty much got things that i found were like really really cute so i got a whole bunch of shoes as you can see they were all one dollar so i got these ones um they're really cute i'm trying to as you can see they're these like really cute silver with this like lime green wrap around like the foot I think these were very me coded like I just you know these are definitely something like I see like I would pick out for a doll they're just very out there and very space and futuristic I love them thing in the green theme I got this little flower-esque like package it has these really cute glitter details on it really really cute again for a dollar I was just kind of like I had a whole bunch of ones in my pocket and I was just kind of going ham and I was like you know what let me just grab a whole bunch of shit that I could hoard. Um, and then I also got these ones, which are these, it says it needs repair on them, but I don't see where they would need, it says needs repair on here, but I don't see where they would need repair. They're, they're these like gold fabric shoes with like these little ribbons in the back. I don't know if maybe the gold is peeling or something. I could probably fix that with some like uh, Mod Podge or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I got these really cute little golden flake shoes. So got this, I think this is from Fashion Fever, but I'm not 100% sure. I just know it was really cute. It has these like real metal um, handles. Obviously these aren't technically shoes, but these are little accessories that were red. We have a little red phone and two little red bags. I believe this one here is from a Fashion Fever doll that I own. I've seen it before. We are going to move on to bottom slash top do i have any top yeah there's a top in there just other pieces of clothing that i got first i got this little yellow skirt it's my favorite color yellow and i just felt like my dolls needed this for any doll i choose to dress up in the future i also got this little pink flower top i think those are roses on it i didn't notice it has like a yellow stain on it i'm gonna try and get that out with some like laundry staining solution and then like rinse it a little bit see if it comes out but it does have a little yellowing on it but for tops that's what i got these two skirts i got this one because it was just speaking to me this is definitely something i love you know i love colors this blue skirt with a little ribbon and like a little eyelet right there holding it really cute and this one which i believe belongs to a witch barbie either that or I just don't remember what it belongs to, but it was giving cute, like, you know, mysterious little skirt. So I got it. That was pretty much it for accessories. Um, now we are going to get on to fashion packs. Um, Y'all know I go ham when it comes to fashion packs. This is not a fashion pack, but I might as well move on to this to keep y'all excited. This is a Barbie high fashion number two. I need to find number one. Cool and casual little book. This is so adorable. Like, again, this is just my favorite Barbie era. So the way she looks on it is just so cute. Um, I love her little fashions. And it says, what does it say on the back? Poor Teresa is a fashion disaster. Luckily, Barbie offers to show Teresa the do's and don'ts of fashion and teaches her how fun it is to mix and match. Suddenly, Teresa is very popular, but will she remember her best friend Barbie? That's so, like, I don't know. It's just cute, kitschy. Um, the lady was like, yeah, you could take it for a dollar. And like... I just love it because, again, I like to look at the 2000s Barbie fashion. This Teresa is definitely wearing an outfit I look like I would wear. Um, very me core. I just love looking at all the pieces and all the fashion moments and all the little Barbie stock photos. Uh, I don't know. I just love this era. I really wish, like, I don't know, we can go back to this. This is just so 
<laughs> like look oh my gosh but yeah book for a dollar i had to have it it's just all the little pictures and everything were just so me got this ken fashion pack um i don't know how much i paid for it let me check really quickly okay with the editing of movie magic i um checked and i actually paid five bucks for this which is absolutely perfect y'all know i just love this is just an outfit i literally could pick out of my closet right now if i really went and looked i don't know i just i love this whole thing like if i could have this made for me i would totally wear it um it's just a ken shirt that says ken on it these little green cargo pants and these little white shoes to match the top i love it and for barbie i got another one of these cute style fashion packs from the 2000s um these are not like well they say they're like rare when i see them on ebay and stuff but it's really just because they're actual cute fashions and people want to eat them up because especially like fashions like these are trendy right now really cute gold outfit it has a whole bunch of gold glitter detail a little tiny bag and these really cute shoes that match i don't know i just really love this era of barbie fashions it's just when it was actually about like the fashion and we are actually really breezing through this video i didn't realize how little i kind of got but i didn't really have that much budget this time around again i was really like about on the cusp of getting my teeth done and like that's where i was gonna spend all my money so i think i gave myself a budget i think i spent like I spent about $200, I believe, on all my stuff. Uh, we're gonna talk about this Christy I got for a dollar. I believe she is complete because she didn't have shoes because she's a beach doll. Um, she's Cali girl, I believe. I believe so, she is Cali girl. Her hair's a little bit needing of attending to. It's getting very frizzy. A uh, boil wash will fix that right up. But yeah, she's complete. And for a dollar, I cannot pass up this Christy. I love her um, face up. Her face up is just so gorgeous. Look at her mug. And then I love her little flower belly button tattoo as well. She is just so cute and adorable. And for a dollar, I cannot pass her up. Like I said, we are actually really breezing through it. Like I think technically, we're halfway in items because again i really did not spend a lot this time around um i could have definitely went way worse but again i just i had a budget i really did have to budget this time around so the next item i got is this brats babies adventure girl styling a safari fiona she is so adorable look at her in her little box i love brats babies and especially because it's in box and box and the box is not that damage it kind of has like a little bit of yellowing but like whatever and she's gonna go on my shelf with all of the rest of my brats stuff now sticking on the theme of brats babies here i have little brats babies phoebe look at her isn't she adorable i literally was carrying her like a baby throughout the whole damn convention mi little niña como estas mi amor te amo muchísimo that's the little baby look at her she is so cute she has her little um, hair and the ties and I'm glad that they have these because I find a lot of Bratz babies with these cause I don't know why they made these removable it makes no sense to me like why would you want to I don't know but these are removable even the little babies and I always end up finding babies and stuff like that on eBay for really cheap but it's because they're missing their little hair pieces I don't get why they made them removable like you could have just molded them on but okay and she has her whole outfit for the most part I think she's just missing the little baby bottle necklace I believe these came in a two pack it was her and um Roxy obviously the price I paid 25 not bad because I found her on eBay for around 40 and she was missing pieces so I feel like 25 is not bad for her again that's about as much as I would pay for a Bratz baby she's my first large Bratz baby I have small Bratz babies but she's my first big girl big girl I really want the big girls with the the hair the totally hair totally hair oh she got a little dookie stain on her underwear wait did I I didn't do that she must have came like that but she do got a little poop it looked like she shit herself that is like the color of like baby diarrhea um <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i'll try to get rid of it with some stain remover i don't know if it'll come off should i even attempt it i don't know for the price i don't really care but you know i'll still try to do something now we have something that's low-key like i don't really collect mary kate and ashley dolls like that like that but i have a few of them i've seen a few of their movies i just have them because they're really cute dolls not necessarily because i'm the biggest biggest fan of mary kate and ashley but i do think they're icons especially for the fact that they have their face slapped on everything i mean curling irons but you went to walmart you could probably find napkins with their face on it to like you probably find toilet paper with their goddamn face on it back in the day i believe i paid either like i think five bucks for these and the lady just kind of had them thrown at the bottom here like they are right now um let me take them out i was redressing them in the hotel because i was just having fun with them this is kind of what i do with dolls um so they come with like this cute little um side outfit i don't know which one's mary kate and i don't know which one's ashley this one's mary kate and this one's ashley <laughs> like i said i mainly collect these dolls for like the 2000 nostalgia of mary kate and ashley not necessarily because like oh my gosh i'm the biggest fan or anything but um whenever i get them i usually just try to find them for really low because i do think the dolls are really well made and again 
the weight of my heart is a really well-made doll. I don't even have to be a fan of something. If the doll is really well-made, for some reason it attracts me. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. For me, a doll isn't necessarily about a property I like. It's more or less about, is it well-made? Does it look good quality? Is the fashion right? And if it is, then I'm a fan. And like I said, these are just really well made she is really wobbly is it because she's like a soccer dog she does come with like a soccer things i don't know why her her waist is doing all that she dancing and shit so the next item i have here is my fashion fashion fashionista one of the fashionista ken isn't he so adorable he's very me core when i have my dark hair i don't have my dark hair right now my hair is pretty and bleached a few lights i think this is called like light brown or something like that this is me back when I have my dark hair. I'm pretty sure this is literally my natural hair color right there. We twinning! Y'all, we're almost done. We only have four more items left. Who do I want to do next? Ooh. Um, I think I'll do her next. This is the Fabulous Night Barbie. I actually used to see this doll at Big Lots, believe it or not, now that it has the Big Lots tag on it. For some reason, a lot of the stores in my area carry dolls like dolls that were obviously a little bit earlier like they carried them for a long time from what i remember because i do remember seeing this doll on shelves along with happy family midge i think i was so so young it's like at the brisk at the very beginning of my memory because i remember my mom used to go to big lots to make her easter baskets and stuff like that and yeah i, I i'm pretty sure it was this doll i used to see on the shelf because the reason why i'm so obsessed with like this logo and everything is because i used to see this logo a lot as a kid this is like my main core memory of barbie like when i used to be when i wanted one so fucking bad her face too her face is just everything and she was obviously ten dollars so that was definitely a steal for me i see her going for around 50 on ebay so i was like you know what i have to have her now is my moment so i am very glad to own her the last three items that I got at the doll show um these last items are high ticket um they're very much wanted from me first one I got here is this top model hair wear summer she is absolutely fabulous I just love the green this line although short-lived was just probably one of Barbie's best lines ever I know the kids probably didn't like it because the bodies were just kind of like well they're model s so they were kind of like statues but my god was this line of Barbie for play line remind you this was a play line doll and they had Barbie serving it up to you on a fucking platter here are the other dolls again I have her I have her too I believe but her box is like really nice her box is really damaged and I still haven't opened it because I as you'll see in another item I have here, when it comes to like dolls like that I find really pretty, it's very hard for me to open their box. I don't know, I'm just very much an inbox collector. I just, they almost look like little paintings to me. That's how I always explain it. They just look like little pretty statues, paintings in a beautiful little packaged box. And I just love seeing them together because it gives me that aisle core. But you know what she's giving, right? Yeah, you're this next doll may not be a dream doll for everyone. Um, but she is really rare. Like I, I've never really even seen her listed like that. Um, but I know she did release, but the reason why she's a dream doll for me is because as y'all know, my funky stuff has been an inspo for me since I was a little child. Her YouTube videos were some of the very first like tutorial YouTube videos I've ever seen. I used to make like little stuff for my LPS and stuff like that. And I used to find her videos so inspiring to make like little LPS miniature crap. And that's kind of where I got my whole name from miniature and just making little tiny things and just how much I love like a little tiny world. Um, and a lot of it was inspired by my foggy stuff. So like when I saw this there for $35, I was like, you know what? I have to have her. My foggy stuff, again, is just a very big inspiration for me. I'm not going to unbox it. I'm going to keep it beautifully in the box just simply because again owning this doll in my opinion is a representation of the one person in the doll community who inspired me the most. Like there's, there's people in this doll community who are here but this is like the one person in this doll community that I look up to and like I would like literally drop on my knees and cry if I ever met just simply because the first ever toy reviews I did was mainly because I would watch her videos or like those little tiny tutorials I did as a kid that like never tracked at all and it was just like little me doing shitty little things with my camera it was all because of my foggy stuff my foggy stuff literally I honestly think my foggy stuff even got me into dolls because before dolls again it was LPS this doll to me is important I know she's rare it's not necessarily about the rarity for me it's more about the fact that it's my foggy stuff and again that's why I have it and I just think she's super cute and I know she is hard to find and she's definitely going on a high shelf for me I just I don't know it's just i'm just so happy to own her i really wanted this doll when it came out but i never saw it anywhere and i guess that's why it's so rare because it was just probably a very limited run thing 
But yeah, my Froggy stuffed doll. Again, this is the second to last item and it's just, it means a lot to me and she is very rare and I have never seen her listed so I don't know her value at all, but this last item, you guys, when I saw it and when I heard the price, I literally started shaking. My friend Maddie, who's there with me, could vouch for me. I literally, my hands started like trembling really fucking crazy because I don't know, I never thought I would find this item there specifically, but this was definitely like, you know, you have your rank of your wish list. This was definitely like, Right, like all my friends know I have bitched about how bad I want one of these in box. But when I've seen it listed for in box, it's like 200 bucks and I'm not paying 200 bucks for that in box. And also like it's either 200 bucks and then it sells out really quickly and then someone will list it again for like 500 and I'm not paying that either. And I really think it's only rare because it's Barbie movie related and there's like those people who are just obsessed with Barbie movie stuff. Obviously my favorite Barbie movie of all time, plot, aesthetic, everything is Mermaidia. It's, I, I just love it so much. But something about this movie in particular, Magic of Pegasus, always gets me every time because first ever physical Barbie item I ever owned and it was actually as a child was the Prince Aiden and Shivers and I talked about this on one of my videos singing with my nieces when I was very 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 young on DVD because they got the DVD in their Easter baskets and I got the Aiden in my Easter basket. My nieces got the Brietta horse because she was obsessed with horses as a kid and one of my nieces got the Barbie herself so it's just very very special to me. Oh my god, sorry. I'm so just so like, honestly, if I would have paid 200, it would have not been like as like, ah, to me. Obviously, I would just be paying the eBay price at that point, which is just kind of like, mm -mm. I mean, I still would be excited for it. But you know, it's always more fun when you find it for a really fucking good deal. And this was $35. I literally picked it up, bought it, walked my ass to the bathroom, and screamed at the top of my fucking lungs at Sherry's Doll Show. <laughs> All my friends who have been on calls with me know this is one of my like sought after items. And literally some people are like, why the fuck do you want that? It's just a fucking horse styling head. But like as a kid, I just wanted it because I just found it so cute and so magical. And I remember the commercial made me feel like it was so cute and so magical. Like it was literally gonna change my life if I fucking own this. The box is absolutely dinged up, I know. I'm gonna try and fix it a little bit because I really don't want to unbox it. It's just so pretty. And magical in the box for me the box just brings back so much memories like aesthetic wise thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it thank you to all 1000 of you subscribers that's so amazing i never thought like this thing would ever go anywhere like that and i'm just so happy that y'all actually enjoy my content and actually enjoy watching me even though i do little like shithole videos in my room thank you guys for coming back every time i disappear for months and i will see y'all in the next one Bye, everybody. Mwah.